Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 5 minus 1 over 3, then times open parentheses, 9 minus 6 close parentheses, then times 2 to the power of 3. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have subtraction, multiplication, parentheses, and exponent. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations, and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority, and when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 equals 3. Now the question is 5 minus 1 over 3 times 3, then times 2 to the power of 3. Okay guys, now we have subtraction, multiplication and exponent. First, we simplify this exponent. 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. Now the question is 5 minus 1 over 3, then times 3, then times 8. Okay guys, now we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. Because multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 1 over 3 times 3 equals negative 3 over 3, which equals negative 1. Now the question is 5 minus 1, then times 8. Now again we have subtraction and multiplication. First we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 1 times 8 equals negative 8. Now we have 5 minus 8 and 5 minus 8 equals negative 3. The final answer of this question equals negative 3. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 4 plus 1 over 9, then times open parentheses, 8 minus 3 over 2 close parentheses, divided by 4. What is the answer of this question? To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. Okay guys, in this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses, 8 minus 3 over 2. Since the denominator of this fraction is 2, we can write 8 as 16 over 2. Now we have 16 over 2 minus 3 over 2. 16 over 2 minus 3 over 2 equals 13 over 2. The final answer of these parentheses equals 13 over 2. Okay guys, now the question is 4 plus 1 over 9, then times 13 over 2, then divided by 4. Okay guys, now we have addition, multiplication, and division. First, we simplify this multiplication. 1 over 9 times 13 over 2. 1 over 9 times 13 over 2 equals 13 over 18. Now we have 4 plus 13 over 18, then divided by 4. Okay guys, now we have addition and division. First, we simplify this division. Because division has higher priority than addition. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. In this rule, K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We keep the first fraction as it is. After that, we change the division sign to the multiplication sign. And after that, we flip the second number. Now we have 13 over 18 times 1 over 4. The question is 4 plus 13 over 18 times 1 over 4. Again, we have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication. Because multiplication has higher priority than addition. 13 over 18 times 1 over 4 equals 13 over 72. Now the question is 4 plus 13 over 72. Since the denominator of this fraction is 72, we can write 4 as 288 over 72. Now the question is 288 over 72 plus 13 over 72. Okay guys, 288 
over 72 plus 13 over 72 equals 301 over 72. The final answer of this question equals 301 over 72. Okay, guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question. 2 to the power of 2 minus open parentheses 8 plus 1 times 2 close parentheses then times open parentheses 3 minus 1 plus 1 close parentheses minus 2 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. 4 minus 8 plus 1 which equals 9 then times 2 which equals 18. 4 minus 18 then times 3 minus 1 plus 1 which equals 3 then minus 2 to the power of 2 which equals 4. Again they start from the left and simplify the question. 4 minus 18 equals negative 14. Negative 14 times 3 then minus 4. Negative 14 times 3 equals negative 42. And negative 42 minus 4 equals negative 46. They say the final answer of this question equals negative 46. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, again, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. If you don't pay attention to the PEMDAS rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. According to this rule, first we simplify these parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have addition and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 1 times 2 equals 2. Now we have 8 plus 2 inside these parentheses. The question is 2 to the power of 2 minus open parentheses 8 plus 2 close parentheses then times 3 minus 1 plus 1 then minus 2 to the power of 2. Again, we simplify these parentheses. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 2 to the power of 2 minus 10 then times 3 minus 1 plus 1 which equals 3 then minus 2 to the power of 2. Okay, guys. Now we have exponent subtraction and multiplication according to the PEMDAS rule first we simplify this exponent 2 to the power of 2 equals 4 now we have 4 minus 10 times 3 then minus 2 to the power of 2 which equals 4 now we have subtraction and multiplication first we do this multiplication because the multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction negative 10 times 3 equals negative 30 now the question is 4 minus 30 then minus 4 because we have negative and positive numbers on both sides we simplify and we get the final answer of this question the final answer of this question equals negative 30 thanks for watching guys to see more mass videos subscribe to the channel goodbye